active WRL weather alert day. A flood watch is in effect in our entire entire viewing area until tomorrow. We have a team monitoring the widespread rain and wind gusts. Carly Hayes is live in Raleigh and Destiny Patterson is in Apex. But first, we want to get to meteorologist Anthony Baglione. And Anthony, we're already seeing some flooding in parts of our viewing area. Yeah, Julian, certainly been a very active night in that regard. We were watching earlier flash flood warnings out, flood warnings just across the area for those creeks, streams, places like the lower level of the Crabtree Valley Mall parking deck. At this point, let's talk about what we're seeing here currently. I'll put on live radar right there. We did see the flood warning expire that was including Raleigh and Durham. So that's some good news. Very spotty shower activity still left over. It is not anywhere near as heavy as it was earlier. Some spots, though, definitely still dealing with it across, especially eastern North Carolina right now. One lone flash flood warning remaining just to the south of the city of Goldsboro right there. Not a lot of heavy rainfall coming down in that direction. So that is good news as far as a lack of additional rainfall there. Pretty heavy coming down across South Hill. We head up to the North Carolina Virginia border right there. Roanoke Rapids also seeing some Rocky Mount. Everyone dealing with that coverage still this evening. We go into the next couple of hours. We'll still watch some scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, but it looks like the latest trends may be backing off this rainfall a little bit earlier than what we were expecting earlier this evening. Two to four inches of rainfall, though, by the time this is all said and done, we're not expecting two to four more inches of rainfall, and by this point, I think a lot of that has already come down. Nonetheless, a flash flood watch there, or flood watch, rather, until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, so we still could see issues with the creeks, the streams, places that normally may have issues with low lying the water, the low lying water, the areas like that. Wind gusts are at 24 miles per hour there in Durham, Raleigh 29 in Fayetteville, 21 in Clinton. I don't expect it to get much breezier as we go through the next couple of hours. It'll probably remain about what it is right now, but still blustery, still a bit rainy the next little while. We go through future cast right there, those wind gusts in the blue boxes. Most of us talking, let's say 25 to 30 around the triangle. We continue into tomorrow morning. That's still going to be a pretty good bet for us as you're out the door. I'll pause this at four o'clock in the morning, still 30 there. Raleigh Clinton, 27 mile per hour gusts in Goldsboro. A few leftover showers by that point, but a lot of this coverage should be out of here by then. We bump it ahead a little bit farther there to seven o'clock in the morning. Still, Julian, a very breezy forecast to start 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts, but the rainfall portion of this will be out of here. Oh. We'll go over the when the winds start to relax a little bit here in just a few minutes. Oh, we'll be all ears about that. Thank you, Anthony. Let's head on over to Apex. WRL's Destiny Patterson is live at the scene of some flooding there. Destiny. Well, Julian, where I'm standing right now is Richardson Road in Apex. You can see they have this road blocked off. You can't get down for this entire block. Down there, you can see that there is a car that is stuck in that water. We've had law enforcement and first responders out here this evening working to get that car out and get the people inside out safely. At this point, it's not clear how many people were inside of the car or if they have any injuries. We're still working to get that information from police. But like I said, you can see this road is completely blocked off. A neighbor here tells me that this area here, Beaver Creek, habitually floods. So it's not uncommon for them to see very high waters here and for this road to be blocked off. And so they, it's not clear, again, how that car got down there or, or how it ended up being submerged. So we're still working to learn that um, at this hour. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Julian. Destiny Patterson giving us a live perspective from Apex. Thank you. Deputies, troopers and police are asking drivers to stay off the roadways if possible. You just saw why right there. WRL's Carly Haynes is live in the storm tracker on I-440 monitoring the roadways in Raleigh. Carly. Yeah, Julian, we're heading on uh, 440 West right now, and we're getting lighter rain than we've been seeing for the majority of the day. I mean, earlier today, you saw we were doing a hit here where it was just downpouring. So here's a live look at the road that we're on right now, saturated. We're seeing some pooling in some places off to the sides of the road. Uh, but visibility, much better now. There's still some standing water off to the sides. Your best bet is going to be to remain cautious, as it can be hard to tell how deep some of that water is so want to be careful there and also check out what we saw just about an hour ago we saw this car accident off to the side of durant road it was about 50 yards away from flooding that came onto pretty much the entire street there and when first responders arrived they didn't find anyone inside the car but 
This comes amid a day where we have been seeing several crashes on the highways and several side streets all over Wake County. So as you said, Julian, quite a mess out there today. You're going to want to be cautious. Great advice as always. Carly reporting live for us. Thank you.